Uh, and it is already getting to be kind of windy around the area too. Then we get another wave of rain mid and late afternoon, but rain will spread throughout the area throughout the evening. Then tomorrow rain periods of it throughout the day. It changes to a wintry mix here by tomorrow late afternoon, more so during the evening. Wrapping around this, I think Wednesday looks like a just an awful day with snow and wind and just a sloppy slushy mess here. We'll check out some accumulations in a second. Right now on the radar doesn't look like much going on. There really isn't. There might be a couple of sprinkles around. But as I look at the satellite imagery, starting to pick up on what we refer to as some gravity waves in eastern Iowa. And these could start to fuel or spark maybe a few thunderstorms in eastern Iowa. We'll keep an eye on that. But as we look at the potential for severe weather, we are likely to get some thunderstorms around here, especially this evening. But we're not outlooked for severe weather today. That seems to be a little pushed farther to the south. But that being said, still, here's our future cast, and it is still suggesting moving into northern Illinois by 1-ish. We get some showers, maybe even an isolated storm. As we get to 2 and 3, that's when we expect to see some of that rain maybe moving across Wrigley Field, down on the south side for that Sox game. The activity is likely to become more widespread throughout the evening into the overnight period tonight as well. Might get a brief lull tomorrow morning before we get more activity that gets geared up for tomorrow afternoon. And then it kind of winds up with a slushy mix here tomorrow night, Wednesday morning. Look at this. We are anticipating some snow in the area. You can see how precipitation chances do increase, especially as we get into the PM rush for today. Snowfall totals, two different models we'll look at. One a little higher, a little more gusto on the amounts. Right now, I think most of us are going to fall into that kind of one to maybe two inch category, maybe, uh, maybe I should say a half to two inches. But near the Wisconsin line, it's possible we could see a little more likely three or so inch amounts there. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.